Good morning. Good morning. Wake up. Wake up. We're going to do this. We're going to win. We're going to win. You know, I've been declaring, I'm going to change healthcare. I'm going to be the one. And this morning when I woke up, I was like, I don't want to wake up. I don't want to do this. But I need to make this video. And I don't know if I'm making this video to share or if I'm making this video for myself. But I want to remember these thoughts. So this morning when I wake up, my thoughts were twinkle because everybody called me twinkle. So it, I call myself twinkle in my head. And I say, twinkle, you got to wake up. You got to wake up and you got to do this. And all how I try, I couldn't do it. And I just say, most high God, give me the energy to wake up. And I did. And so here I am. And as I was exercising, I was working out. And yesterday I held an exercise class. And the girl's like, you, you lead and I'll follow. And I feel a little uncomfortable. Like I feel uncomfortable taping. And then I started exercising. And it came to me. You should lead. You've been exercising since you, when people were playing, you were exercising. And then it came to me. Yeah, you didn't get a financial education in totality. You didn't know what you didn't know. But there are a lot of things that you do know because you were taught. And you were taught not by a book, but through experience. I don't know if you saw my YouTube channel interview of my mom. Go check it out. A phenomenal woman. Eat right. Exercise. Learn. Educate yourself. Spiritual. Connect with God. She made me a winner. <laughs> And now I just got to win. I have to win. Not to say I win or I achieve something. But now is the time for people who were given all those. That's a leg up in life. Listen. Listen. This war didn't just start with COVID-19. This spiritual war that we have going on, it's been all of our lives. Listen, listen, you got to get up. You got to get up. People don't know what it means to resist. You see people protesting. I'm not against them. I'm not a judging them, right? But they don't know how to do it, man. They don't know how to do it. So let me share some, some thoughts with you. You might agree, you might not disagree, just, just make sure some thoughts. People against the vaccine. They against medicine. I, I'm not saying I'm for it. I'm not saying I'm against it. But listen to me, listen to me, right? We want to do things halfway and you can't. You cannot do things halfway. It does not work that way, right? So you say, oh, I don't trust these people. Don't, don't trust them. But you can't just say, I don't trust them and sit down and do nothing. You can't do that. You, if you don't trust them, you need to tr find somebody who you could trust. And you know, the best thing I say is be somebody you could trust. And when I say be somebody you could trust, I mean, take care of yourself, right? You say, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that, right? You can't, you can't be like, I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that and then don't do nothing. Listen, if you do not control yourself, somebody will control you. This is a universe made up of order, right? Order, order. If you, it's either you control yourself or you will be controlled. It's either you take care of your spirituality or somebody will take care of it for you. And you know what? I'm not judging either way. I'm just saying 
if somebody takes care of it for you, then you can't be mad. You can't be mad. And if you get mad, then do something about it. Not talk about it. Not fuss and cuss about it. Do something about it, okay? So, a moment here. I stopped and I said, you know, we're supposed to be healthcare professionals, but are we healthy? I keep saying this, are we healthy? Is my mind healthy? Is my body healthy? Is my emotions healthy? Is my finances healthy? Then what am I talking about? You see, I say I'm going to change healthcare and everybody say, oh, are you going to get your master's? Are you going to do this? Are you going to do that? No, I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I'm not saying it from a place of anger, but I'm saying it from a place of, listen, there is going to come a time in life where we're going to realize that our, our information, all the information that we collected and stored in our head and regurgitate to people and make us sound so wise and so smart will be irrelevant. Why? Because the computers, yo, you could Google anything. Nobody cares what you know. Actually, they could know what you know. They can never know what you experience. So I'm about to tell you what I experienced, okay? I experienced waking up five o'clock in the morning as a little girl, yes. I am saying it not because I'm bragging. I'm telling you it because I'm slow. I am slow. I am a thinker. So in this world, you have thinkers and you have doers. And it's good to be a thinker if you're rich, right? Because if you are wealthy or you come from wealth and you are a thinker, then you have the luxury to take your time and think and you get awarded for it. But when you are a thinker born into a doer or a working class world, life is very, very hard. Life passes you by and people think you slow because you are. <laughs> but it's not a negative thing. It's a thing you are slow because you were meant to be in a different space, in a different place, and you don't fit. I go to the store, I go to the checkout line, and it is like the most traumatic experience for me. I send my husband to grocery shop. He is, he, I call him low-key genius, but he is in his space and in his place. This world has categorized majority of the world into doers and into workers and I appreciate them and I love them but I'm not yo my family used to make fun of me they used to say what are you good at <laughs> because literally I struggle with everything I struggle with everything and honestly I tell you this is my season this is my time I am able, I feel like this is the first time in life, even though I was given a formal education, and I, 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 I learn and I, you know, I, I learn some things, <laughs> obviously, but I feel as though I have never been this educated before. Why? YouTube, Google, why? Now I can learn at my own pace. Now, I am an oral person. I need to hear it. I can hear books. I can hear thoughts. I can hear people I didn't have the money to hear. This is my time. So if you are out there and maybe somebody called you slow, maybe they made fun of you like they made fun of me. You know, I, I, never, took it, I never took it personal. But this is the first time I'm realizing that I am... I was in a space and I was in a place that I just couldn't thrive because it wasn't for me. And honestly, the time of the universe, the arc of the universe, I'm always running late, but it's because I move on a different time. I move on a different time. And I'm saying all of this because I want you to get to know me. Why? Because I'm going to change healthcare. I'm going to change healthcare because I have the thoughts to change healthcare. See, 
because I move on a different pace, I see things at a di from a whole different angle from everybody else. It's, it's, not, I, it's, not, it's not anything grandiose. And when I say I'm going to change healthcare, it's not anything um, that I'm boasting about. It's what is necessary. It's what needs to be done. So that's my thoughts today. I also have another thought. People want to be at peace. There is a lot of war, right, happening. And everybody wants peace. But my thoughts are, do you, so many times we're not living in a state of peace because we want abstract qualities. We want love, we want kindness, we want peace. I was listening to Sadhguru and he said something and it really made so much sense. He said, you gotta be pleasant. <laughs> and I walk around and I say so many people and I my heart really goes out to them because they're trying to be pleasant, but they're not pleasant within themselves. They're not within themselves. They are not pleasant people. So every pleasantness you experience from them, I, I, I have a timer. I have this thing because, you know, I'm slow and I'm from the Caribbean too. So, you know, we, we also go at a, a slower rate. So I go to the businesses and I sit down. I, I, well, I stand up and, I, and I'm talking to the people and I linger. I linger and in the business ego the, the first few minutes it's like you get you get 10 you get all the energy your potential customer and you get everything that they have and you know I, you, I've been living in the States for a while so it's like okay you do your business and you go right you go quickly and something within me has been saying Casey stay a little longer stay a little longer and I spent just a minute or two longer and it becomes uncomfortable. Not with everybody, but with the majority. It becomes, un the, the feeling, the vibe becomes very uneasy. And there's nothing to be said. And it's just a moment of just being. You are human, I'm a human, we're standing here and we're just being. And I tell you, it, it, they don't know what to do. And the tone goes from that 10 energy pleasantness to uncomfortable. Like, and then the longer you stay, then it gets even a little rude. Pleasantness is within yourself. Pleasantness. I ain't saying I'm pleasant. I'm working on it. I'm working on every day being pleasant within myself. But when you're pleasant within yourself, you be pleasant to everything. Pleasant, loving, kind, it will all flow. But within yourself, you gotta be pleasant. And a lot of people don't know how to do that. Why? Because they're not healthy. They're not healthy. We're not healthy. Not just they're not healthy. We're not healthy. And it's not just their fault. We live in a system designed to keep us unhealthy. And being healthy doesn't mean going to the gym. You see, that's the mind of doing, right? Being healthy, right, is not, being unhealthy doesn't mean you got mental illness and you need a shrink. No. Unhealthy is sitting down by yourself, entertaining thoughts that defeat you. Sitting down, beating yourself down. And somebody come telling you a good word or two. You can never even take it. Unhealthy behaviors, right? stem from inside our inside is unhealthy and our inside is unhealthy because our inside is unconscious you know we eat things because we like how it tastes we don't stop and think this is our body this is the instrument that we have to live our life and to to, to experience life we don't think about that we don't think about well what do i need to give my body today what thoughts do I need to think of? What foods do I need to eat? What places do I need to go? No, we get on and it's automatic. I need to go to work. I need to do this. I need to pick the kids up. Oh, go run here, there, there. Never one day fuel in our body. And I'm speaking because our, our, our hum, 
human systems about to go systems failure right and I mean, I, 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 I wish my energy was 10 right now so I could sound more catastrophic, like, oh my gosh, we're going to die. But that we're going to die is always everybody's looking at the external. Something's going to happen to me. No. And what I'm saying is you're about to happen to you if you don't get up. But you need to get up within yourself first. You need to get up within yourself. You need to rouse your spirit. I say, sometimes I say, oh, I can't, I'm so tired. And I have to remind myself, you are tired, but your tiredness that you're feeling is not going to be solved by sleep. Your tiredness is a tiredness of spirit. You need to wake up within yourself. You need to do what you need to do. You need to be the woman you need to be. You need to get up. Get up. This is time to get up. You have a vision. You need to do your vision. You have a purpose. You need to do your purpose. Not what other people are telling you to do. What you know you need to do. And if you don't know what you need to do, you need to take some time and be still and find what you need to do. See, we have all these voices, all these thoughts, all these people talking to us. You need, we need to focus, get that distraction, get those thoughts, get those words out of your head and focus on what you need to do. You need to be it. You need to be it. Not do it. You need to be it. And to be it, there are things on your inside that you just need to set right first. You know, I have so many thoughts. So many, t you know, for me, I was always, I'm, I'm a loving person and I, I just never knew why inside myself. I've always been pleasant because the, my perspective, the way I saw life what, was with rose colored glasses. So I was always very loving. And as the years went on, I noticed being loving came went from being loving to doing loving and it got really routine it got burdensome and tiresome and i realized that there's a difference being loving and doing loving difference maybe i'll talk about that the next time but this is time to be loving and the first person you and I need to be loving to is ourselves. When we're loving to ourselves, then we know how to love others. So I showed myself some love and I'm sharing it with you. I'm here to preserve life. But the life, the only life that I really could preserve is my life. It's my life. You know, when a lifeguard goes out into the water to help a drowning person, right? You, they have to preserve their life in order to preserve another person's life. You cannot preserve someone else's life if you don't preserve your life. You can't do it, you know? You can't do it. You have to preserve your life. And... The thing about life, the thing about life that I really am advocating for is not the life where society has you thinking, oh my gosh, you're preserving a life, that's wonderful, you know, like we need to save lives, you know. No, 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 no. Not keeping people alive, that's different. Keeping people alive is different. Life is sacred. So to preserve a life, it's not just about keeping people alive, but it's first about recognizing the sanctity of life and all its aspects. And then stoking that fire of life within other people by my life. And
and I, 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 this, this is a deep subject. I don't know. I don't want to lose you. But life is sacred. And so many people are waiting to live life in another lifetime, in another dimension, in another world, in a new world. They're waiting to, like life will be granted to them. Wasting, wasting the life they already have right now. I'm not saying, I'm not here to explore different dimensions, to, to talk about different worlds. I'm here to stoke the life within you right now, today. Live life. Preserve your life in every dimension. Do not take it for granted. Okay? That's, that's, that's my message. That's my message. I'll see you later. Okay? Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your presence. I appreciate you sharing thoughts with me. Let me know what your thoughts are. These are just my thoughts. Let me know what your thoughts are. Share with me. What are your thoughts about life? What are your thoughts about health and wellness? Let me know. I'll talk to you later.